The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. the wrestling mayhem show at 900 and thursday tuesdays we've been talking professionalized wrestling no matter how late it is sometimes uh it is late we are after both nxt and aew on title tuesday or don't get any sleep tuesday for podcasters that happen to do a podcast on tuesday because it seems like the safe night because you can just deal with nxt i guess uh but apparently not Oh, this counter-programming. But with me is my own personal counter-program. The Riz is with us. Wasn't I like a part-time buddy with you last week? Last week? Why are you a part-time buddy? Or a semi-buddy? Semi-buddy? Or what? Buddy? <laughs> what are you talking about? Am I, is this like your new thing with me now, Sorg? What? It's like a, I mean, I, I was like going to start with the Russell buddy thing from Detroit or Ann Arbor when I was up there. and we It was just the two of us. Just the two of us you and a creepy right Hogan on the side. Just the three and a half ish of us. But uh, yeah, he looks sad over there. He does look very sad over there. <laughs> I do. Um, he looks really sad, but he deserves it. Okay, he deserves it. I got shot, I, Riz. I'm also, I'm also Hulk Hogan a little bit tonight. <laughs> this is the mug I grabbed. So. <laughs> So, but it's also in the back of my head because uh, my friends from Exodus were down at this. Uh, he, so you know, he not only has a beach shop, there's a restaurant now too because those always yeah. do well. Uh, so, and I was sad to see last time I was down there. This was um, this was back in March. Um, the we uh, was that back in March? Yeah, it had to have been. Um, no, I think it was the year before actually. Uh, so so um, ho so. Where was I at? He's got the thing. Uh, Luke Bushwhacker Luke's uh, gym was not there last time I was there. God, this mm-hmm. might this might have been within the last two years. I, I could be pulling this together because I went to the Orlando one uh, this year. So, anyways, um, we have yeah. a new guy. We have a new. We have a new guy. What? We have a new. We have a new person right over here. Sorry. Where? Where are you looking at? We have a new over, person over, over here. Just over here. Came oh, that right doesn't here. make any right sense. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Dave Potter <laughs> is here of the iPhoneography podcast and awesome cast contributor. Glad to be here. And yes, more coffee. More coffee indeed for all the wrestles. So we're going to get to I guess, So I guess, I, you know, I, I don't think this was not a. I mean, the only reason this was a title Tuesday is because NHL was kicking off on uh, on t- what, TBS this, this week, right? And the Penguins are playing us, of, of all things. So. Um, but, uh, so, so this was, I, I don't feel like a, a coincidental counter program, if you will, even the fact that they started at nine o'clock instead of eight o'clock. Uh, of course we're talking about AEW, uh, going up against, uh, uh, NXT in their second week on the CW. And I had to figure out how to watch that live tonight. Uh, so, cause my usual means didn't work. So I had to go sign up for a trial of YouTube TV. Uh, by the way, apparently they'll give you a free trial for five days anytime you want. So like be three times oh. a year that I need to watch something hmm. live that I can't on any of the services I already have. I'm already signed up for. Um, yeah, there you go. That works. It works. It works pretty well. So usually a local is, is the problem. So, uh, 11, 15 Eastern time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, it's like four o'clock there. So whatever. I, we, hey, <laughs> I've been making friend of West coasters, uh, all night. Cause we had some friends on uh, awesome cast here from San Diego. Uh, but anyways, but I mean, I, I we, Let's presume that Twitter may just do something and call this a Tuesday Night War. Uh, who won, in your opinion, tonight? <laughs> if we're going with those eyes, and you, I can believe, I, and, 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 and I, let me just I, let me asterisk this a little bit because I've been hearing about how some people talk about one promotion or another in the last week or so, which which also is kind of the way people talk about Joker too. Um, but uh, so the asterisk is, I think most of us here enjoy both programs to some regard to begin with correct Mm -hmm. so because Mm -hmm. i want to say that uh, uh, before we take our poll here uh riz you were about to say something fans 
the fans. The fans. Yes, yeah. the fans. Can I do the cop out, cop out answer and say the fans? And, and and now we have to figure out what to do on Wednesday. Riz, you want to go play games tomorrow? <laughs> Maybe. I don't, have, I don't have wrestling to watch. Yeah. Let's no, see. see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. All right. We'll see what happens there. Um, do you have a real answer other than your cop out answer? Or are you going? I hope both no, wrestlers I'm, had fun. I, honestly, I, I hope both like, promotions had fun. Kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we know ratings kind of don't mean anything. No. Right? Until you need to say that they mean something so you can get a new TV. Until, yeah, until you say that means something. But <laughs> let's, let's talk about the game. Okay. But in reality, it's not. Mm-hmm. Like now we live in the streaming age where we save it on our DVR. We do Despite something the else. fact that the CW is on over the air network right now. <laughs> yeah. But like you can save, you can like. Save it on your DVR. Watch it later. Yeah, you can do something else and watch both programs while you're while you're working while you're at work at home. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can do all this stuff and be like, oh, well, yeah, it's back on my, it's back here now. So, like, it doesn't mean much to the fans of what show you're no. going to no, watch no, no, because no. you're going to watch both shows if you want it. Yeah. There's always going to be something good, but it is, it is it is a little bit of who attracts though. It is it is like an opportunity for AEW to get fans. Don't usually follow them on Wednesdays for whatever reason, so that might be a thing. I mean, I remember the days like guys. I remember the days before DVRs or when they were just starting or I had a tape recorder of oh man, I'm not watching SmackDown for an entire quarter because I have class, right? Or oh, I always work Wednesdays or nights or something at my shift or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 I, there, there's that world, you know, as well. About just, you know, you, it is actually like gives, you know, yeah, you have people that need to follow over, but now it's like, hey, maybe some people are going to follow you from Tuesdays, you know, um, mm-hmm. you know, they're usually watching Big Bang Theory, um, repeats at nine o'clock on a on a Tuesday night, mm-hmm. um, or something like that. So, I mean, I, you know, the the, the strategy is still there. You know, yeah. so and but uh, it, you, there is no collision this week. Thank God. Last time I tried to do collision during a pay per view, it was so bad. <laughs> it was just like I, I mean, as in it, it might as well have been Ring of Honor, which I enjoy in its own way. Um, but uh, man, <laughs> so, um, anywho, Dave, I'll say this. Okay, I, I, Dave, what, a, what's a, your a, let's say AEW didn't do anything that would have turned off any WWE people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, if they would have came out with Moxley coming out and within 10 seconds had complete blood all over his face like they were doing not too long ago. Sure. You get the NXT crowd, which mm-hmm. is not used to I that don't... type of wrestling. Don't, which is don't... A different type I, of wrestling. I, okay, let's let's not let's not pretend that the NXT are in a vacuum. Uh... Oh, no, 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 what I'm <laughs> what I'm saying though is if, if you look at the crowd, yeah. there's almost never blood on NXT. Sure. And, and definitely, AW, and, and definitely not now. No, and, and yeah, especially on broadcast where AEW, uh, you know, a month or two ago had blood every every week. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a little more violent, mm-hmm. you know. And, and you may get people who are used to. It's similar to the, you know, people are used to seeing one thing all the time, sure. and they're like, "Oh, I'll check out this other thing." You're like, "Oh, this is completely different." They may either have the reaction of hey, this is completely different. This is something I want to see. Mm-hmm. Or this is completely different. I don't want to see this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, did did they on purpose say, hey, if we're going to have anyone cross over, but, but let's I, put our own spin out, but let's make sure. I don't know. I, I, feel, like, I feel like this is the night where you actually put on a much different show. Um, and show them what you got. I mean, what did we get in our first hour that was quote unquote counter programming? If you were uh, channel flipping, um, you you had the Orton match up against the four way women's match. You had uh, what was in the first half of that? Um, you we yeah, had the, we had the tag the match tag team, which is yeah mm-hmm. against the Luchadors. I think were mm-hmm. happening on the other channels. So mm-hmm. like, I, so there was just like, hey, this is what we do, you know. And you did have appearances. You had Switchblade. You had. 
um you know some backstage other people with uh, popped up. mercedes yeah, yeah mercedes, mercedes pop up. background hey remember yeah. this person you know it, it, you know because yeah. some people again some people live in maybe a wwe vacuum and don't know that sasha banks is back somewhere you know yeah. and like you know nxt kind of wanted to do something when they had the very first like it's a big match of a title change. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, like, hey, um, we're going to do this now. And I didn't really see much of the first half. Uh, the first half of the show, unfortunately, for four or five minutes, because I was still wrapping the air show at the time. But, um, but, but it generally, you know, it was a good vibe. I mean, mm-hmm. I actually still putting on a very, mm-hmm. very good show. And, and honestly, with the new change, I was kind of waiting for this change to happen to, uh, to give them their chance. Um, like you know, I feel like they're definitely a, there's a reinvigoration. Of course, of course, we'll see. I don't know if they are. I think they're back to the normal shooting schedule next week because i don't think i've seen anything on wwe tickets for anything past the st louis show so you know what is that going to do for that vibe on the network when we get to that kind of idea right so um so uh, yeah they're uh, yeah i don't see them on the calendar at all for smack uh, nxt so other than the halloween havoc coming up here in hershey pa uh in two weekends so um i think we're just back to business as normal we 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 had our Randy Orton appearance. We had our CM Punk appearance. We had the women's champions uh, 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 appearance, you know. Uh, so so now we're back to what is NXT going to be for everybody that's not getting called up right now. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, what else stuck out from there? So you said, yo, big title match, uh, uh, Obafemi um, uh, mm-hmm. dropping to uh, Tony D'Angelo, uh, which is just right on vibe because I've been playing Mafia lately. Uh, mm-hmm. So... <laughs> But very, very much on the same page. But I, I, so, I mean, yeah. What else stuck out for you for NXT then? Was it sexy red? Definitely not sexy. Red. Not sexy red. Yeah. No. I mean, okay. I, I, yeah. I, I appreciate what they're doing with like, like the, the because she is from St. Louis, and they did. It's like a big moment, like a big show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, 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 it did kind of make me turn over too. To, yeah, uh, and I know she yeah. got interrupted, but like they're still like, okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Um, I call it the P Diddy, P, P. Diddy effect at, at uh, no, WrestleMania no. 29. Oh shit, I can't use no, that anymore. You shouldn't use no. that. Sorry. Okay. No, 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 because that means something completely different now. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. definitely not yeah. the listen at WrestleMania it's 29. Definitely not the P Diddy. It meant effect. it's time to go to the bathroom because you've been sitting here in the cold all night. So I always go to the cold WrestleManias. What's up with that? Anyways. Vegas will not. Be um, I mean, the tag title match was pretty cool. Like mm-hmm. it was, it was a weird like double hint at both teams breaking off. They break off and just switch partners. That's what we'll yeah. do. Yeah. But it, it was still an entertaining match. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like you said, the Randy Orton thing, Randy Orton stuff was good. Uh, I, I believe, and I think Sor, uh, Dave said this before, uh, that Jay Uso was also there. Yeah, yeah, in the be- in the very beginning to open yeah, up. I saw him come in. So they yeah. definitely were bringing people, you know, return- and, and kind of giving a rub to to um, Trick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. b- both being in the ring at the same time, no no issue between them. Mm-hmm. You know just recognizing each other so that you know that makes a big deal yeah i mean that's fine i mean i i'm i know people have like some issue with that like oh he should be on such and such but yeah it's fine like you don't you don't need like (sighs) while going for two hours is happening Mm -hmm. and uh, and it you brought this up early on in the show sword that the reaction to raw going two hours to three hours or three hours to two hours. I mean, was, was what it looked like, like from, from the outsider perspective of Joker and Joker two, <laughs> like it was nonstop. Yeah. Why are they doing this? Yeah. This is stupid. Where's my, where's my other hour? Mm-hmm. Why are they not doing all of these uh, storylines that they say Listen, they have? The wrestling, wrestling people haven't had anything to rage about for uh, like 30 seconds. So mm-hmm. uh, we got to create something out of that, apparently. So, um, 
Uh, yeah, and that's up oh God. I'm in my. I can't. I can't read. And the, the worst thing for me right now is you flip through Instagram, where I think I'm safe from opinions. Um, nope. But Threads is integrated now, <laughs> and yep. I'm like, oh, what's this? And it's just so fucking clickbait. And I tend to click on it more. And 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 the tweets are not uh, the posts on Threads are not bad as the crud that I see on t- on Twitter, which I have. Mo- okay, my personal feed is mostly um, um, curated on Twitter, and I don't see the cesspool as much as other people do. Um, but my other accounts are not. So when I'm going in and doing work as for mayhem show for indie, for awesome guys, like it all pops up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So Mm -hmm. it's like, ah, okay. You know, uh, but anyway, so, uh, so there's that, you know, we've had that tonight. Uh, um, we're here in, uh, uh, Tina's in saying Tina, who's, who's just still having dinner. I always joke that she's just at dinner time, but I'm realizing (laughs) she's actually at a late dinner time right now. So the joke still works, I guess. Um, (laughs) Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, was, uh, she was saying um, um, da, 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 AEW wins by a very slim margin tonight. Yes. yes. So there you go. I was more, and as somebody who does not, like, I have been very critical of AEW. Mm-hmm. I was more, in, I, I, I was more focused on AEW. Mm-hmm. Sure. Easy. Sure. Oh, absolutely. I, it, when he, like the Randy, it's the Randy Orton thing is a nice pop for the general audience, but that's not terribly exciting for us. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's where you start losing yeah. you know, something like that. So I was like, no, I'm here for NXT. I'm not here for all these other guys. But we and also again, understand they're not, trying to bring people to it. So right, it's it, and it's not even like a war type thing. It's not like oh AEW has my attention now. Blah mm-hmm. blah blah blah. They both have my attention. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. WWE mm-hmm. and absolutely. AEW are the thing. We're excited like, for Wrestle Dream. We're excited for Halloween Havoc. Okay, so mm-hmm. let's go. Let's fucking go, guys. You know, let's fucking go, guys. Let's fucking go. No, I, I, I just because of all the wrestling tonight, mm-hmm. I had to do a quick reminder of what NXT had on it <laughs> because it isn't just that it, it, you can't really do three hours of wrestling mm-hmm. tonight, even though it was a three hour period. It was two hours, two hours, and they overlap where you kind of flip back and forth, but there was only four matches on NXT. <laughs> that says something. In two hours, which is, you know, uh, well, not only that, but it was a lot of, like Tina mentioned, there was only one woman's match tonight, mm-hmm. but there mm-hmm. were only four matches as whole, and there was a woman's segment yeah. that took a lot of time. So, but it, it, uh, it they were really light on the wrestling, and the wrestling itself, you had the six woman match. Mm-hmm. So you had two people from the main roster. Um, let me go back here. The, the, yeah, you know, you had the North American Championship. You got two NXT people there. The tag team championship was. Yeah. You know, yeah. Half the, the other t- one team was from mm-hmm. main roster. And then you had the Randy versus. Uh, uh, yeah. Devon so Evans. Like, so it was it was kind of a with everything like and I understand you're introducing everybody to NXT and there yeah. has been more people. There have been more people from main roster showing up just generally. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, that that does say a lot, doesn't it? That does say a lot to like, are people going to tune into this? We have to make a big splash. Yeah. Or is it an old, or is it an old rule book? You know, is it is that what's happening? You know, we had DX last week. We had you know CM Punk show up. Um, you know, God, so one of the women show, showed up too, didn't they? Um, that's escaping me right now. So like, like we, so you had you had like, hey, you know, this is a WWE show. You know, mm-hmm. we're doing the handoff. We're doing the hey, come here. Hey, Jay Uso is on here on a Tuesday. Hey, check out my bi- my boy Trick. You know, don't he look cool? Tune in next week to yeah. see what he does. You know, like like that's what they're doing. Like, yeah. and I mean, we're not even talking about the like the one good thing about that happened on one. Yeah, the other good thing that happened on NXT that we we kind of glossed over is that that women's segment, which mm-hmm. had oh my you know yeah. four of the top women in NXT, mm-hmm. if not and 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 one of them hasn't even wrestled or two of them had one of them haven't even wrestled yet. Yeah. Mm. Like Stephanie Vac Vacure Va- Vacure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said it yeah. right. Um it, it like just having that essence of just knowing that mm-hmm. hey there's gonna be some great matches in NXT. And again it was on yeah. the side. You got Julia and you got Vancouver. I didn't even know that was her because again 
I was finishing up some other mm-hmm. stuff, but I saw that the women were out there, but nothing, mm-hmm. nothing kind of stuck out because I hadn't seen what she's going to look like here. Um, like, like I completely missed that, and I'm very excited about that. I haven't seen her wrestle a few times. Um, like that is like that's going to be one of those low key like where the fuck did this person come from kind of things. Like, like Julia, I think is going to be for a lot of mm-hmm. WWE people too. And so, also Booker T talking about Roxanne Perez's. Yeah. Was it Roxanne? Yeah, Roxanne was when she came out was amazing, and having uh, whoever who's the guy with Booker, I forget Vic, what his name Vic is. Vic Joseph. No, Vic Joseph. Yes. Vic Joseph. Yeah. So Nick, like they were talking, Booker T was going off and like like telling Nick to stand up, and mm-hmm. Nick pointed out, "Hey Booker, you're not even standing up, so mm-hmm. you're not even doing mm-hmm. it. Like the camera is seeing you not stand up." <laughs> oh, by the way, Riz, r- j- just because in case the cut, it's a B, Vic, Vic, uh, uh, B, mm. not Vic. Vic, mm. Vic. Vic. And, yeah, they, and they gave you a yeah. last name you could pronounce because his original last name we had a lot no. of trouble with when we worked with <laughs> Riz, <laughs> Trava, Trava. Oh, I'm glad I'm not doing the Chiron. Okay, moving on. It's Joseph. Yes. Um. Anyways, uh, where are we at? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh let's take a quick break and thank our friends at patreon patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show i think some people were tuning into the stream the patreon stream started a little early we got our transition tonight between the uh the uh watch along to uh go into this uh but anyways uh do, 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 do. thank you everybody that is supporting us on the patreon probably no extra patreon this week because we're really tired and trying to do even a short version we're, of the show yeah. so notice we're going to get to this stuff real quick um mm-hmm. but thank you our friends that are following that are, that are supporting the show some of Long-time followers, including Bo Diggity, as well as Team Hammerfist, the Tupac family, via Leah now, by the way, uh, and uh, Bubba Brewer of the Triple B Experience Podcast and APWF, and Jason French at the Poppy Club level. By the way, Poppy has a new series coming out on some new streamer that I'm probably not going to pay for. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but as soon as it gets on Netflix, when that thing goes out in flames, uh, the platform, not her series, I'll watch it. Uh, anyways, uh, at the Poppy Club level, day Prof Bob Modern of the iPhoneography podcast and the rashes, rats, rats in a trench coat, rats in a trench coat, Tony Kincaid, and the Riz at the Pizza Club level and the manager level, Bradley. Thank you, everybody, supporting the show at patreon.com. Say that. Say that again. Say that again. I said, Bradley. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. There oh, you oh, go. Your there chair you go. blocking a you're, little you're bit. You're showing your go. chair logo like part. AEW. It's getting the good part. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, tell me if this yeah. looks better this week, by the way, because I changed cameras. I upgraded. Well, there, uh, that's you, better. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, this past weekend was bad blood. And you could have watched the first hour and been okay uh yeah. for the most part there uh that literally though that oh, hell in a cell was no. amazing it was yeah. mm-hmm. it was probably one of the better one of the best hell in it a was. Cell matches and i think it's because if not the best I, what was it somebody was like we finally got redeemed for the disqualification at hell in the cell in 2019 um the, the big red cage with mm-hmm. with funny the funny sledgehammer that looks like that was a giant mallet. Was that the yeah, disqualification? Oh no, the, the disqualification was, I believe, a steel chair. Mm-hmm. Like during all that, it was just him hitting it. It was just Seth hitting him with a steel chair. Uh, I think no, wait, it was a steel chair and a sledgehammer. Okay, like an actual sledgehammer. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. We can throw people off this thing. We can do all kinds of other stuff. We can light some stuff on fire, but we can't actually attempt to smash his oh, head with Bray, a sledgehammer. And by the way, Bray is. The, Bray was undead at the time. It was undead uh, Bray? Undead, Br- it, was, it was the undead, like, fiend. Bray oh, the Wyatt. fiend. Yeah, just the general fiend. He wasn't, yeah, like, post yeah. burnt. <laughs> post crispy, if you will. Uh, no, that was very good. I love the use of the beads. Um, mm-hmm. I love the referee not reading the room, <laughs> trying to give him a white towel for all the blood and getting shoved away. Because then, you're in my fucking shot, dude. <laughs> So, um, and I understand the, you have to get wiped off thing. Like uh, that can mm-hmm. be, that can actually, I know people are getting kind of mad about, it. I think the crowd was and, and, and people, uh, drew obviously was, um, I, I think there is like a health 
thing you can mm-hmm. say in sports, you know, like oh, yeah. you don't let the boxers with a running blood thing happen when when, when they go back in. So that as, does actually feel more true to, let's even say MMA, since I guess we are very associated with it now. Mm-hmm. Um, so so I, I you know I, I understand like oh no they just let them bleed. It's like no that actually is kind of a problem, right? Yeah. And and you know in. And it makes like the you know the mat look more like a horror show. I've been at those shows, uh, so um, no, then I think that and I think that was fun. I think it added to it. Um, uh, what did it say? Sixteen, six staples. Sixteen, sixteen, 16 staples for Drew, yep. I believe. And uh, we were wondering if that was like a hard way because the way he was bleeding was pretty crazy. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah. So like from the middle of his head and everything like that. So uh, and again, you haven't done a lot of blood for a lot of things in a while at WWE. So this this really added to it. And God, what a what a what an ender that that is, right? Yeah. So uh, that's amazing. So um, did we lead in? I know Punk was on Monday. Oh, that's right. He yeah. handed it off to Seth. That's right, because I remember somebody got like Drew was not involved on mo- on Monday mm-hmm. at all. So that's oh, good. No. He definitely needs some cool off after that. Yeah. So because I know whatever you transition him into, you need a minute. I think. So we'll see what happens there. See if he's going to this to to Saudi or something like that. We'll get to that in a moment. Don't don't, don't sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jump on that yet. Um. So from there, uh, we you know obviously um I you know. The, and I don't think the match, the matches weren't terrible. It just wasn't like Nia matches kill a show, man. Yeah, that is that is the biggest. Like they've been so tight on so much of the other shows, um, and so much of the shows in general. And I don't know what I, I at least in our circles we can't like it slows the show down for us. I get what they're trying to do, but seeing Nia against Bailey and Naomi all the damn time is just kind of done with it, man. You know, mm-hmm. like. And we've been doing this since Mania. Yeah, we've been doing this since Mania. Um, have we? No. No, Bailey won the belt at Mania. That's right. Um, since Money in the Bank, I guess. And that was... It, it just feels that It just felt that Queen, long. Yeah, it feels like forever. Um, yeah. And just, like, Nia's fine. Like, Nia's a perfectly adequate talent. Okay? I understand her being... Because she's, like, the big... The big Andre, you know, for people, they're literally, mm-hmm. they're literally doing that in the Yokozuna spots and stuff, which actually makes sense because the family lineage. And I think they did reference that at some point when she started doing it. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, that that's kind of the killer for me. I did enjoy uh, the Shark Cage match. That was fun. With Dom. I thought we had a lot of fun with that. Uh, when we turned him into Piana, Piana, Piñata. 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 Pinata. I'm sure I just said something else in Spanish that's much worse. <laughs> um, um, that was fun. I love they were playing that up, and and I mean it's a classic thing, and they they did something fun with it. Although I don't know how he unlocked the door since he was laying on the floor the entire time. I don't know how he locked the door, and also how they got the. Um, I didn't see them like handcuff his like put him in shackles. Mm-hmm. His ankle. His an- yeah. On his ankle. Is um, that what that was supposed to be? I actually didn't translate yeah. what he was hanging from. He was hanging from like a, a handcuff on his leg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because you heard you heard the metal clang. Mm-hmm. 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 So that something could, was That could have been anything. So, um, yeah. the Like, he must have been set up for that the entire time. Because I can't imagine he, he set that him up himself. They must have had somebody in the security or referees that like was mm. a, stunt, they were getting like, a like a stunt set up person or mm-hmm. something like that. Or or maybe he's got some kind of mechanism on his leg that just kind of hooked in and, and just worked and, and supported it. Because you can't just do the hang spot without no. like you, you you'll snap you especially like he fell straight he fell. out. And like I got I heard, snapped I saw on it him. Just... Yeah. It looked it looked yeah. nasty. So there's gotta be some support on that leg. There's no way that they, you know, they 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 do that. Um uh so well yeah, that was fun. Raquel Raquel Rodriguez. Uh that's the reason that's did the they current change name. Her name back? It, did they? Wait, did they? Did they say Gonzalez or Rodriguez? That was Rodriguez. I thought it was Rodriguez. Because I thought she came back like when she came to WWE it was Gonzalez. And when she left it was 
or when she left NXT, it was Rodriguez, right? Or my so or her, am I so her, her birth name is Victoria Gonzalez. Okay. okay. Um and if you look at her um Wikipedia page, there's a picture of her from 2016. Oh my god, yes. This is where she yeah. does not look a thing. Yeah, not she doesn't look even a little bit. <laughs> no, no needs to look at that, that baby. Right? Well, you gotta find open source pictures, and that can be really hard when they've been in WWE uh, for years, yeah. right? So uh, she's only 33 now, so that was Mm-hmm. Eight years ago, twenty-five. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so Good she was um, in NXT. She was actually wrong way. Uh, NXT. She was uh, uh, Gonzalez, and she's been Rodriguez, I believe, since she came up to WWE. Yeah, WWE. yeah, yeah new, new ring uh, name Rodriguez. So this is where roster, she's at. Yeah. So um, no, I think yeah, I think they're just switching that up since it was a birth name kind of thing. You know that classic WWE own shit. I don't know. It's still give and take, right? Like, like sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, it's 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 wild. Like Dragon Lee came right in, right, uh, with that name. So, hey, it's the most recent that I remember, at least. Ethan Page, which maybe his name. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Um, but I guess you know if they got a brand, if they got a brand already, you can take one. Uh, anything else from Bad Blood? Again, mostly like um, it, it was fine. I like I, so uh, again. I thought it was very good. I thought your marquee stuff was very good. Uh, again, that main event um, is um, was like I think I said that I was like we're not here for this wrestling match. We're here for the th- the implications of this wrestling match afterwards. We're yeah. here for the last five minutes of this wrestling match and what it means for Monday Night Raw. Yeah, you know? because you know it's going to be like a cluster. Yeah, which is yeah. And, and let me okay put a pin in that for a moment because I think I want to do an AEW versus WWE spot on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, but what we did get, we did get the return of Jimmy Uso. Uh, we did get the return of the rock. We did get a relative respect spot between I love Jimmy reminding um Roman about his promise to watch his back when Cody was getting attacked. That was a nice bit. So yeah. I got something about that. Okay. Like he waited. Roman waited. And he didn't like. It wasn't like, oh yeah, he got he's getting attacked on that stuff. No, he he waited for you know Cody to get beat up before he did the thing. Kind of like what he or kind of the opposite of what he did mm-hmm. at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. where or, or not WrestleMania SummerSlam when he came out, mm-hmm. like because Cody did a move did. Did the move and everybody was out, and then he, then he came out. Mm-hmm. But now he waited for Cody to get attacked, and like waited a few seconds after he. Got but also, he was out. like conflicted. He's like, "This isn't my problem yeah. anymore." And Jimmy's yeah, yeah, like, exactly. no, no, Jimmy's like, "No, your problem." No, that was more him. I I thought that was just more him processing, right? The yeah. thing he didn't want to do, but promised he would do. So did he or, promise? Or Roman, did, he, did he promise that? Like, he promised that he was going to wash his back. Yeah. At bad During blood. the match, and yeah, you can. I, I think there's some fuzzy, probably some fuzzy. You're right, that, but um, that's that's where the thinking was. Mm-hmm. I, you know, like the you said, area. Roman's like, "Look, match is over." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then I had your back. Like my the job match, is and, and Jimmy this, this and Jimmy's is, like, "No, anymore. you said you'd have his back. You yeah. should still have his back." I think Jimmy was implying the stretch. If mm-hmm. you want to go that deep with this, and I love this is the kind of story that's happening for this. Again, don't give a shit about the match that happened, Bell to Bell, but this no. is what we're here for: is the drama that happens around it. Um, but remember that uh, for for later in the show. Um, but uh, it, 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 yeah, so that, that's it. And then the Rock is just to say, "Hey, I'm back. I got something to say about this whole situation." See you on Friday on USA Network. <laughs> so, oh. His promo, der- his, his Instagram like mm-hmm. segment. Oh, I, yeah, I, I did hear about this. What happened with oh, that? Oh. Give me, give me the cliff notes on that. So he just started talking about how like how he he saw things, things were weren't good. He, he, he the things that he saw weren't good. He's back. Blah, 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 blah. And then he went to his car and started, like, I guess he turned, like, he remote started it and started blaring music. 
uh, what, what, what was the what was the song? I forget. Like it was it was some classic rock song as well, and it was just like, oh, it was uh, it was this easy top song. It wasn't legs. That was says a healer, but it was like what the like he he just starts talking and like I mean, he finishes at the end of the song. Like he did his if you smell what the rock is cooking at the end of the song. <laughs> and then it started playing again, which was funny because he, he was just sitting there. But like honestly, it, it, I don't know what he said because he kept repeating it. He he saw something, but he, he saw things that he didn't like in the ring. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He saw things that he probably could do. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. And he's the he's he's everybody's boss. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but yeah. It, it, it just was one of those things where it was, it was a rock promo. Yeah, and, and it needed it to be kind of, it needed to be kind way. of like not give the story away for what we're gonna do next yeah. when, mm-hmm. for his next thing. Yeah, so and, and, and he also said everyone's asking, you know, what, what am I back? Am I am I happy? Am I sad? Am I upset? Well, you'll find out. You'll find when out I when the rock tells when you. When I, to yeah, find out. you'll find out when I let you know when it's. See time you to Friday find out. on USA Network. Uh, he, he actually didn't third say hour. that. That's the thing, though. That's he never Im- said. It's implied. It's implied. It's implied. It's implied. But, but you know what? The one it's, thing uh, but the, on the ad, I think it's even more implied for yeah, SmackDown. Well, but but one thing I thought was hilarious mm. was as Rock's going back there, mm-hmm. you know, it, you can tell he's in heel promo. Yeah. But there's a security person working the Still metal the detector, and he was like, "Thank you. You're doing a great job." <laughs> Because he's the boss, yeah, so like, and he started doing a good cutting... job. Thanks for being here. Okay, now back, now back to talking this stuff. Yeah, and then he started talking to like the production trucks, like the pictures <laughs> yes. on the production yeah. trucks. <laughs> I gotta see this thing. Like, I gotta watch was, this afterwards. It was like, oh yeah, Austin, maybe I'll do right a, there. Maybe I'll, yeah, do, Austin, I'll do a quick watch was... along, maybe on on uh for for uh, Patreon. Yeah. Before yeah. It was Austin. It was Dusty. Yeah. Oh, my hero. Was, one yeah. of my heroes. Dusty okay. Rose. Okay. Stop giving Hate away. His kid. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna <laughs> well, do okay. it. His hero. Hate his kid. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. I need to watch this. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do it for Patreon. Mm-hmm. Okay. For real quick, I want to give a shout out. We got a lot of stuff going on. Indie Wrestling US Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, again, RWA, the most recent show, APWF coming up here this month. We'll be a part of that. Those releases on there. Uh, we got so much going on. RWA next week. Uh, which is going to feature a dog collar match against Super Hentai and HL Supreme, who also there resembles you you Super it. Hentai. Yeah. Uh, no, so no, no, no. Resembles. I said resembles. Allegedly. Allegedly. I got to put allegedly in, and I'm safe. So much more happening. Uh, we got the back catalog as we're waiting everybody to spin back up. Uh, you know, I, I know uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling just said they're going on hiatus. Uh, I think you'll have a little bit more time to wait on them, and but mm-hmm. I think you'll be very happy with what's going to be coming back. But you can catch up on all of that. A lot of matches and stuff are free over on our YouTube channel as well. We just started tro- uh, dropping some more samples for our friends at Neo Pro Wrestling. Uh, so go th- they got uh, Setting the Standard, I think, was the show that just uh, dropped with Tommy Dreamer on the network and on the memberships for YouTube. Uh, and also, uh, and these are guys are not a part of the network, but I will give a shout out to our friends that enjoy wrestling. IndieWrestling.us is a sponsor on the show. We're going to be helping those guys out there and help them get the word out and, uh, uh, you know, help them where we can uh, as far as that goes. And, and, and happy to be a part of that. And, of course, we are sponsoring the um Darius Carter against Danhausen match i believe mm-hmm. uh which is one that i know i'm excited to see and one of the first things it's actually called uh <laughs> hold up what's the toy show i want to make sure uh something evil um I think it's very evil. Very evil, I think, is yeah. the name of it. Yeah. So really look, yeah, very evil is the name of it. Uh a lot going on there. Um, of course, like I said, um the Darius Carter and um Dan Housen match. Uh they just actually did a, a, a recently announced uh, the main event against the Kings of the District for the Enjoy Tag Team Championship. Let's mm-hmm. see. Uh they, I know they have a few more on here. Um nope, they're just just there, there is a just all there the is that ta- I think there was a 
Is there a ladder match? There is friends? a ladder match. I'll get that to that in nope. a moment. Is there okay, somewhere? The There's a, it's it's all their poster. Uh, the production Katie Arquette and who you know we just re- posted some more uh, clips of her mm-hmm. in, about uh, Pop Tarts and uh, Darren Dillinger will be there. Uh, there's the Darius there's Carter Danhausen match, match with uh, presented by sponsored by what's it? yeah match sponsored by yes very proud proud there sponsor of enjoy wrestling in that match there and then also uh, Mikey Montgomery and Billy Dixon Mikey Montgomery oh. if you have not seen this on Enjoy TV uh, on their YouTube channel I believe Mikey Montgomery against MV Young is an amazing freaking match definitely worth your time to go check that out sunny kiss against missing Wait, scroll up for a minute whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep going up keep going up this thing oh well, it just calyx no 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 this is just this is back in the day um oh that's right okay. they, they, they they've been posting that picture with each other because i think they haven't seen each other for a while here's uh, the ladder match is. here's the ladder go. match friends. uh uh, uh adriel noxus i'm not familiar with uh, Gianni, they, now we got the friends of the show circle for the most high. Gianni, Michael, Rico, Reese Hayes, KC War. Uh, by the way, Reese Hayes, happy uh, Black Wrestling <laughs> Illustrated BWI listing. I don't I've understand seen. that. I'm hoping there's just another Reese Hayes out there we don't know about. <laughs> Next while, <laughs> friend of St. James and uh, not friend of the show, but needs to be soon. Junie Underwood, uh, yeah. is a part of this. Um, if you don't know Junie, Junie, I believe, is a trainee of um, uh, Speedball Mike Bailey. Ooh. Uh, so, mm-hmm. and he's been, he's been very good. Uh, definitely a little more liked at 880 wrestling lately. Um, and I believe he's a power man and has a cool Batman beyond tattoo. We talked about him. Um, oh, so. and also sword before yeah. you finish up, uh, to plug the YouTube for mm-hmm. indie wrestling dot us, something that Ruth always asks on Thursday night is 880 on yet. <laughs> She's making it appointment wrestling. On really? the same level of Raw, SmackDown, yeah. and AEW. Yes. This is um, it's the inside baseball segment of the show. Yeah, I, I we've been like we keep talking about the future of what we're going to be doing, and and there's some changes that are in the works actually for what's happening on Thursday nights here, uh, going into the next year probably. Um, but uh, you know, uh, um, the more and more we look at it, it like there are. We keep hearing about people. Um, I was told that somewhere in New Jersey there are watch parties for huh. 880 wrestling on Thursday nights. Um, and this is all speculation. This is all like like secondhand and stuff like that. Like we see the numbers and the numbers are pretty decent, you know, but it, it's hard to um there was a great thing that I always when you're working on social media and you're like, Man, I only got this much, you know, this many people, mm-hmm. you know, I only got I, man, I only got 50 people to watch this video or to download this podcast or something. And they're like, hey, that's enough people to fill a subway car. You know, it's like, right. OK, put people in you know, 50 people yeah. in the room and you at the front of it as the presenter. Mm-hmm. Right. It's hard because it's just a number. And you're like, you see a Mr. B size millions of whatever number. And you're like, why am I not that? And there's another discussion there. But it's just always like, hey, you know, hey, I got like five people in the chat room right now. Man, I wish I had more people in the chat room. No. You know what? If I had five people in this room right now, I'd be having a fucking blast. And that's what we're doing on the internet here Mm -hmm. uh, for them on the other side. So entertain those five people so they can tell people they know. If anybody mm-hmm. like like, like any fucking pro wrestler that's only a couple years into it and is like, man, I'm, I'm doing shows instead in front of 50 people, 100 people. I'm like, you're doing shows something in front of 50 people or 100 yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, dude. You were doing this in front of three happening. at training, okay? You could be doing this in front of your fucking dog in the living room, okay? Like, that's fucking important. So I, I think that's that's really important to contextualize that kinds of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I can be like, man, I don't have a lot of Patreons. I was like, dude, there's this many people that believe in this show, you know, to, to, to keep doing it. And, and, and that many people that tune in on Thursday nights for Thursday night fights, you know, there's always discussions like, hey, where are we getting out? It's like, we got this many people to look at us every week. Right. Like, what you do with that, you have to decide. You know, and what we're doing on Tuesdays is having fun with you guys and introducing you to our friends in the wrestling scene that I hope you become fans of. What mm-hmm. we're doing on Thursday nights is getting reps for these young kids, getting getting them in the mix, getting them in front of people, and getting them fucking bookings. There was no, most no regulars on Thursday night because they all had gigs on a Thursday night in in other states. Like the trainees. 
could not be booked on their own training show anymore because they're doing so well, right? So mm-hmm. that's like, fucking there's, there's awesome. Some, that's like, fucking awesome. There's more. There's a reason why we we saw like, and I know Zeke has been on. They they've been on a lot of role recently, but mm-hmm. like they they were on a lot of shows on AE. Mm-hmm. Do you think that might be like? Do you think that that theory of oh, there's eyes on them, mm-hmm. there's eyes on these wrestlers matter, mm-hmm. and it matters yeah. to everybody. It matters to us. It matters yeah. to them. It matters to it matters whoever. to the guy in like Argentina or whatever. That's doing a song index of wrestler theme songs and wants to make sure that it, we're involved and keeps asking us whose song is this. It matters mm-hmm. to the people who watch who who like who who watch cage match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like who who watch those cage match numbers. It is fucking lore on there, yes. There you go. Like it, it's it's the thing that like how many times have we been on in AD and going, hey, and somebody goes, "Hey, what's your cage match rating? What's what's? This? Are you on cage match? What's it? I guess it's, it's Wait, so was this happen a lot? Me. I have not caught a lot of this. You're close to the it's, locker room usually. <laughs> it, it's it's they're saying it jokingly, but yeah. it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're mostly like, fucking with Cal Poke Paul, I think. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, that's that's whatever it is. Um, they had a little inside baseball rant. I want to talk for a moment about um. There was a point about we made a we made I made a point earlier and it, and it kind of struck something in my head about you know we talk about the uh, WWE versus AEW wrestling versus story um, effect mm-hmm. and this is where I think um, I think this is a strong argument for AEW uh, uh, in one direction I just wanted to get out there and off my head and let me know what you guys think about this because uh, I keep saying this a lot I keep thinking of this a lot like. You know, a lot of times you get to the main event of Raw and you're like, I don't care about what they do from bell to bell and their moves and stuff like that. I care about what the drama of the last five minutes of this match is going to be, right? Um, Versus, I believe in contrast, you do get a... uh, The story is, I want to see Ricochet and Oshway fucking go, right? And, And... you kind of want that more than the thing that happens at the end that leads to the next thing. Absolutely. Listen to that crowd at the end of that one. Right. Like, I think that's it. I think like we were excited about like Riz, you popped up when you realized that Mercedes Monet was about to take on Emmy Sakura mm-hmm. for a match. And you're here for that fucking match. You're here for bell to bell. And I give, think that's giving the difference. Your belt. Mm-hmm. Giving me a belt. Hmm. I mean, I, I and and I give are Emmy I, a belt. What? Give Emmy a belt. Oh, sorry. give Emmy a belt for sure. Yeah. Resurrect the FTW championship and give it to her. Yes. Um, but anyways, so I I really do believe like that's it. And again, please again, please tell me tell me where I'm wrong here. Tell me the last time you watched Raw and really gave a shit starting from the first bell at at at. at 10 40 p.m i know we're talking the old raw i'm still adjusting this two hour format mm-hmm. uh you know at 10 40 p.m and and you were just fucking into it or on dvr and did not skip ahead to the last five minutes of the show to see what really is going to fucking happen because as great it is to have jay uso and braun breaker you're maybe not into what's happening in between there Right. It's kind of paint by numbers at this point, and you're not just like, let's go. Like I and, well, and, and I, I don't think they're happened, doing bad work. I think it's the framing of what's happening. That happened recently for me. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, it happened during. Like, if we're talking about raw, we're talking about like, like for me, it was, ha- it was anything that had like if we were talking about ten forty five to eleven, eleven fifteen, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. It would have been that Wyatt Six like mm-hmm. match. Like, the yes, because we were like, we want to see how this goes. This is yes, different in it because you it, know, yeah, uh, everybody in that match deserves a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, does like everybody in in that storyline? Yeah, Bo Dallas. Mm-hmm. That's what they're there. Uh, Bo, uh, uh, Redbeard, everybody, uh, uh, the the Alpha. Not team, not Alpha Academy, team, uh, team Angle, team Kurt, uh, uh, <laughs> Kirk Gable, 
uh, everybody in that era area, that aura deserved <laughs> something. So that caught that catches my attention of yeah. seeing how is Dexter Loomis going to work. But it, how is like yeah. it kept me involved in that match. Now I believe now, if you watch now I, I believe this thing happens. Out. Yeah, yes, absolutely. I, I do believe on NXT, I think you're more interested in Bell to Bell because that's what yeah. the product is. Yeah. You yeah. are more interested in that than the thing that gets you to the next thing. Yeah, well, um, you, go ahead, Dave. I'll also say this. I normally don't make it to 11. <laughs> I, I, uh, okay, that's okay. The thing. work I, this I, as I, a hypothetical. I, cap, <laughs> I cap out at 10 o'clock. And then you're perfect on Mondays now. Yeah, now, now it's great, but normally it's, you know, well, unless I have the iPhoneography podcast, which mm-hmm. starts from nine and we go to like 10 30. Available on fine podcast providers. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but when there isn't a podcast, it's like, okay, it's 10 o'clock. You know, you know, to, to quote somebody, I'm old, I'm tired. I work with professionals, I don't work with children, but mm-hmm. I'm old and I'm tired. So right. staying up till 11 o'clock to watch while well, I'll catch it on TikTok or I'll mm-hmm. catch, you know, highlight video um but like aw tonight it was more story Mm -hmm. than it was bell to bell and that wasn't bad that was not bad it was story we're here for what yo wills will osprey finally had enough of of don Callis and all this stuff like like what i meant more the um you know what was it was moxley going to come out oh yeah yeah you know wells willard you know Black you know how, how you know Brian. Claudio not was he actually mm. going to go after Willer or was he going to hold back and you know so the match wasn't the, it was the story that was the thing mm-hmm. but the story mm-hmm. unfolds through the entire match too right right like right. there I feel like that that connects a little bit more I think the closest you have to that is you know you guys were watching the the tag team match on NXT and we kind of joked about like oh whose partner is going to split off from him first you know dissension all over the place yeah. like that is actually interesting that's the story. like, like yeah. that's the story yeah. of the match is unfolding in the match we're not having like I think that's it I think it becomes match then story match then story you know it, it really is like an attitude era kind of for, format um, but you know I just feel like sometimes we get detached you know uh from the from the rest of the the match now when we get to something like SummerSlam, i thought was great i was hooked on seeing what was going to happen what's happening next when Mm -hmm. it comes to like like la night logan paul you know and 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 a lot of those matches i was very interested in the the ins and outs what's happening with the ray or rhea ripley match uh with 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 live uh that 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 you know you know turned into the the dominic turn like i still Mm -hmm. enjoyed the match until we got there and again Mm -hmm. um you know, it's just the way Bad Blood was kind of set up, you know, and I understand wanting to rock at the end as the as the as the exclamation point on it versus uh, the Hell in a Cell. Um, so you got you got to put it somewhere, and everybody's dead afterwards. And unfortunately, I think he killed everything after Hell in a Cell. You absolutely did, absolutely. Oh, like it really it really was a follow fucking this apparently <laughs> kind of thing. So, anyways, any more thoughts before we move on? new i mean yeah I mean, there, there there is a time like, the last few weeks where i did like fall asleep during raw and then wake yeah, up happened. during the during the the finale of like anonymous mm-hmm. the anonymous mm-hmm. show i'm so glad it's on raw I'm, I'm so glad i'm a, i wait till i wait in, in my, in, no i wait till it, it's over and then skip ahead so, but man, it's a breeze to roll through raw now oh man my mondays are so clear so I just want to point out that I, I because I fell asleep during all, I am now hooked on this show. And even though it, <laughs> even though it even worked, though, their plan worked, so even though it is not a better version, there is a better version of this mm-hmm. on dropout okay. on dropout TV. If you want okay. to check that out, all right. uh, it's called ratfish. It's a, it's an amazing, it's an amazing program. Weirdly, in our uh, AI generated notes for this show, there's just going to be a line <laughs> that says, and Riz is really rat interested fish. into Ratfish and, can carry, and compares it to Anonymous the, on USA Network. Anonymous Network. Ratfish. I, in, 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 I really need to make sure I proofread this time. I just, yes. but because then I'm going to bold that line when I find it. So, and now that I've <laughs> talked about it even more, it's definitely going to be in there. And yeah. the AI, AI is going to talk about us talking about the AI doing the show notes. In the show notes. So, what anyways, the heck is this show? Sword? What is this show anymore? I mean, we may be AI already. Who knows? Um, we were glitching earlier. 
<laughs> uh, guys, in the meantime, I had a pizza party by myself because everybody was digital <laughs> tonight. But it's that's only for this week. We'll get back to it. I swear. Um, I, it, the sites on Broadway are good friends. New York City style yens are made all over freaking Pittsburgh. Uh, but the OG, the original More pizza for you, sir. right up the tracks here. Oh, that's I'm trying. To, I'm trying to take care of myself here. Um, but, it's um, called leftovers. I'm going to eat half a pizza today. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> Um, well, midnight's a new day, isn't it? What am I yes, doing? It is. What am I doing so late? Uh, Slice on Broadway. I love those guys. Thank you so much for supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza. Dave, that was that was that was perfect timing on both of their reports. What? That was that was perfect timing. What was perfect timing? When you said it's, it's a new day, yes, we it b- is. both yes, said it yes, is. it is. Wow, I am in, <laughs> oh no, I'm crashing, guys. We, we gotta get out of here. What did we learn from wrestling this week? I learned that there's a, I learned that there's, there's a new Kane version. No, no, is it gay Kane? Is that what it's I saw? Gain. Gain. I, if he was saying this better, this is probably CG, but I love it. I think it's not. It's not. It's not. It's oh, real. No. Tell, give me gain. I'm pretty sure it's just. I'm pretty sure it's just blue cane. Oh yeah. But it's, it's they just they just <laughs> we'll take it. they just change it. But it, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Um. So now we have original cane, corporate cane. And this is gonna be. This, I feel like they they just made this to fuck with people on the internet. Oh no, they did. But they I did. Lo- but this no no just this one like just with no context. Kane is gay. Yes. Yep. Let's go. Is Kane gay? Insane wrestling facts. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I like how the next one has the has. Go back to that sort. Go oh, back to that for oh, a minute. No, no, no. Are you talking about this one on the left, or is the, just the a, Photoshop one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost pulled this one up. I love the Photoshop. Oh, that's a good, that's a nice that's, job. I mean, it's okay. It reminds, it's okay it reminds it down. me of the 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 green cane. So. The, uh, the, the Mandela effect of green cane. It's the yeah, it's the uh, it, it, it's cane from the full mask uh, from the Paul Bear era. I guess this is like kind of original cane at this point, right? Mm-hmm. And they just put they just paint a rainbow over the red parts. So, <laughs> oh man, thank you, Internet, for all that. And, and real quick, there is someone on TikTok who responds <laughs> to Glenn Jacobs yep. tweets as if he was in, in the cane character. Or not oh. in Kane character, but as if he's Kane. It's like, well, I think we should have. Oh, really? Did you think that when you choke slammed your brother into the casket? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't want to follow Glenn Jacobs, but damn no. it, I might have to follow Glenn Jacobs. No, you don't have to. No, he's follow. a no, no, he's no, a libertarian. No. Is that right? Uh, yeah, sure, how, how, uh, sure yeah. sword. Mm, you, yeah. you, you, you say libertarian. Okay, that's okay. Fine. Sure, yeah. I knew he was sure. one of those old. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no politics and wrestling. Guys, we got go. a couple weeks of this shit, and then we'll have new shit. Uh, uh, exactly. But at least this okay. version of shit. Well, uh, real quick. Yes. Uh, what I learned. What'd you learn? Take me out of this rabbit hole. I, I learned that Jay Uso eats Eat. all the food at Waffle House. Whoa. Uh someone asked him what his order was, and he started off. I got three things of hash browns, I got you know, a couple things of eggs, I got three or four lemonades to drink. He gave this he is like the entire menu, and then he said, Oh, you didn't even ask me what my kids eat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had to be what he ate was two, three thousand calories in one meal. It was just, you could just imagine him sitting down and the entire table being taken up with this food order. Eat. 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 Sorg. Hey, Sorg. Yes. Sorry, I had an idea for a a, a, a chat policy I wanted to post. And I got to talk to Riz about automating it. Um, But anyways, that's for Patreon. Uh, Hey, Sorg. Hey, Sorg. Hey, Sorg. What did you learn? Well, I uh, I learned. Um, geez, I went to AEW last week and mm-hmm. ran into some friends. Oh my god! I 
I feel so bad. I um, when you see me in public, I feel like I'm that guy that you run into and 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 acts like an asshole. I don't know. Uh, I just like I was seeing everybody, and I was not. Um, we talked about this how I'm not social uh, 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 when I'm not behind this microphone, right? <laughs> in public, I hate talking. So yeah, so yeah. I I get. Uh, you know, you ever been like so, like Sam one of those days where you're just like, I, you know, go out places and you're just like, I don't know how to like function Talk. around people yeah, right now. Cool. And uh, unfortunately, that happened at a wrestling show last week. So I'm just like, oh no, I'm seeing everybody and I kind of don't know how to handle it right now. I like these people, but I kind of don't know how to ran- handle it right now. So um, that was uh, like, I was like, oh, this is one of those where I'm just going to go in and not really see anybody, and that's going to be okay. And then it was like, oh, God, everybody is here. And I actually kind of want to talk to them, but I don't have anything to say. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, yeah, the social anxiety was real until I got to. And I was having a tough time. I was, it just it just been a spot I've been in uh, lately. Um, and I was having a really tough time and kind of was like, oh, no. Why am I here? Um, what am I doing? Until we got the ricochet and Will Ospreay. <laughs> Um, the two injuries we witnessed in front of us didn't help. Uh, so, mm. and, and yeah. Um, but, but, um, anyways, um, no, yeah, no, it was just like, oh, right. This is what makes me feel better about things. Right. Um, mm. so it kind of reaffirmed that, you know, in, in just dealing with certain things, it's just like, oh yeah, no, the wrestling is the reason why I'm here. Um, and, and that's why, you know, things like we do the Thursday nights and why I think it's been working is much like doing this show every Tuesday, um, you know, no matter what's going on. And I kind of feel a little bit better afterwards. Um, every Thursday for the most part, um, I kind of feel a little bit better afterwards. Cause I have, you know, for me, I like building the set, doing the thing, bell to bell, you know, uh, first bell, to last bell kind of situation. And that is the sweet spot for me. Uh, that's where I come alive a little bit and get some energy and, uh, and sometimes, or even going to something and say, oh my God, I'm watching, you know, Osprey and, um, Ricochet, uh, and, and all the craziness there. And that show was amazing. You know, it was really tough to watch the extra hour and a half afterwards, uh, <laughs> that Daniel Bryan match, <laughs> uh, cause man, uh, the other the side thing that I learned, and I was thinking about this today, um, it felt like it t- took them forever to turn over the show from Dynamite to Rampage and get those started. And then they had to turn it back over to be Ring of Honor again for the main event uh, mm. uh, with uh, Jay and, uh, and Jay Uso and or not, uh, <laughs> yeah. Briscoe. Yes, I confuse the Usos and the Briscoes. That's where I'm at <laughs> right now. Um, fuck. Uh, so, but yeah, so... so uh, it takes a while to turn those over, and that seems weird to me because I remember, um, and we can talk about these are things WWE does better in production than AEW because they're a company that can fucking do whatever they want. Um, I remember SmackDown being live on the USA Network on Tuesdays and turning straight over to 205 Live, where mm-hmm. at that some point, like they changed the set, changed the curtain, changed everything. Uh, may have even changed the mat. I think maybe had a logo in the corner, if yeah, I'm not mistaken. It, it was and in the beginning, I retaped think the entire ropes to yep. a different color. Yeah, and and did that just like was always astonishing to me to watch that process, you know, and watch week to week. And you're just like, I mean, there's some cover ups and give yourself a minute, but they fucking go. And I don't, yeah, I don't know, but it was a lot. It also, it was a lot of fun in between. Uh, Justin Roberts was, uh, it was for some reason we started chanting for one of the ring crew guys, Bob. We did it like five times, like all night, or every time they sang to crew, like when Tony was going on his time cop ramp. Also, <laughs> time cop, I learned about. Um, the, that have you heard about time cop? What he does? No. Okay, because you've I've probably seen the, you've seen the tweets, you've seen the memes, right? Where he buys every VHS copy and laser disc, right? Yeah. So he's like, "Well, now you had a great dynamite, but next you're gonna see Rampage, and Rampage is gonna be on Friday on TNT." This is my Tony. This is my Tony. I'm trying to match his energy. And 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 which means you're here watching it, but you're also gonna be in Pittsburgh with you guys on Friday. And you're going to be there too. Just like, and the poster goes up on the screen. Time cop. Yes. And then wow. I looked back. 
I did some research because they always say, do your own research. And damn it, I did because this has got me. That's why I fell asleep. If you watch the Patreon on Awesome Cast with uh, <laughs> Chat GPT watching Time Cop and some really weird things happened. Uh, anyways, he's been doing this for a while <laughs> since like May, I think, or April. There's another one during the Olympics where he's like, hey, I'm having a really great time here in Paris. But I'm going to time cop to like Louis Louisville, Kentucky for a rampage tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> damn it! I and I heard that. Uh, I, I apparently I missed the part where we were time copping Ring of Honor to the next night because I didn't know what week they were going to be for. But I, for, I, I understand they did do the time cop thing about Ring of Honor for the next week mm -hmm. that they were taping Thursday at Collision in, in, in Toledo. Uh, shout out to Harkam Frio that was apparently like like right up front or something like that. So I got uh, man, I, I didn't look for him enough. That's for sure. Uh, when I watched it, it was tired. But anyways, yeah. So that's that's some of what I learned there. So and Potter put his AI voice to person <laughs> summary of last week's show. Oh no, you did the Notebook LM thing. Oh mm -hmm. no, I just went to a podcast <laughs> where they tried doing that. <laughs> okay guys thank you so much uh i i guess i'm going to do this quick patreon for, for this rock video here oh, which will probably and, be and sorg sorg yes. real quick um getting serious getting serious uh just because there's so many wrestlers who live in central florida mm -hmm. thoughts going out to them as the hurricane mm -hmm. hits yeah. tomorrow evening it sounds like uh it looks like it sounds like it's just it's shifted south a little bit mm -hmm. So it's not going right through Tampa Bay and over Orlando. It's going just the south, you know, 60, 70 miles. Yeah. But hopefully, you know, if, if, if you could get out or get to higher ground, hopefully people have done that. And just be careful because this is. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Big one. Yep. Um, also, bring it back in to uh, the outro. Guys, if you're here this weekend, um, oh wait, I know this is for next week actually, but I'm going to give a shout because I didn't earlier. Uh, World Series of uh, 880 World Series is happening on the 19th. Penn Brewery here in Pittsburgh. If you want to go check that out, they'll be live streaming as well. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to be looking at the space here on Friday to uh, make sure. But yeah, you should be streaming. I've streamed something else there before. Um, I don't know why I put a question mark on that. Like, we're not going to do it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why. Anyways, I'm tired. Uh, I got to get out of here. Thank you, Riz. And thank you, Dave Ponder, both for staying up with me tonight. Yes. Let's not mm -hmm. do this anytime soon. Not this oh. version of this. Next week, Emily Fierro actually will be joining us. The week after that, we should have Joe Dombrowski joining us. And then we're going to do our Halloween special. There's no plan for that yet. Okay, should, I was say, which, we, should, should we have a spooky off? wrestler? Maybe I can get Dan Housel to come on. I don't know. Maybe. I don't think I can afford Dan Housel on this show. Ooh. Uh anyway. Christian Noir on here. What's that? Dan Noir. Dan what? Noir. 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 Christian Noir. You know, we haven't talked to Noir for a while. Yeah, we need to get our spooky wrestlers back on. But anyways. Thank you guys so much. Uh check you guys out next week. May him out. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like it discussed from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to A Gay and His Envy on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. <laughs>